This video is brought to you by Tech Direct Archive. In this video, I'll be showing you how to enable or disable control panel and Windows settings app. Anyone with access to the control panel and Windows settings app can carry out many tasks on the system, especially when you are using uh, your system in a public domain or in a public place. You need to know that a guest may use your computer and you will not like it when the guest changes your computer settings. That is the more reason why you need to disable control panel or window settings app. Also, in an organization, part of the sys admin or system admin functions is to guide against the misuse of the control panel and window settings app which may expose the system to attacks and can negatively affect the corporate network. So to avoid these issues, you may consider disabling the control panel and also the window settings app as necessary. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video now. So the first um, step we are going to take is uh, making use of uh, registry editor. So let me bring up my registry editor now. So I'm going to enter page edit. So in my reg edit, I'm going to navigate to the following registry. So let me navigate to starting from um, HK current user, then from there to software, then from software, this is software. So from software, we navigate to Microsoft. This is Microsoft. Then from Microsoft to Windows. Windows, let's scroll down. This is Windows. So from Windows to current version. This is current version. Then policies to policy, just scroll down. This is policies then to explorer so this is where we are coming to so now the next thing is to right click right click it then you create a new d word 32 bit so in this box now you can now enter no control panel panel no control panel so after rename uh, giving giving it a name no control panel then you can now give it a value so the value will be one then click OK. So what I just showed you is for local users. So we are also going to do it for local machine. So I'm going to scroll back now. Um, so we look for HK local machine, this is it here. So we are also going to locate, go, we are going to the same location. So software, from software, we go to Microsoft. From Microsoft, we go to Windows. Windows. Scroll down. 
so from Windows we go to current version this is it here expand it let's expand this then from there we'll go to policies policies is down expand this as well then you see explorer so we're also going to do same process keyword no control on it so that's all uh, then the next thing is to give it a value Level of one and click ok so once this is done then you can confirm if you can still assess the control panel or the the app setting so if you can still assess it then you might need to restart your system for the configuration the new configuration setting to work so let, let us try it now so as you can see we can no longer assess our control panel so same thing with um, let's check the app Okay, this is still opening so we might need to let me close let me try setting so it might take some time for it to take effect let's see as you can see it's no longer opening So it's no longer opening but in case it's still opening then just restart your system and everything will be fine so that's that then um the next step we're going to take now is uh, using policy editor we are finished with um, registry editor so in case you want to revert back so what you just need to do is to delete just delete it make sure it is the registry that you are um, deleting the one you created make sure it is it is the same one you are deleting so that uh, you won't cause damage to your system and it is also very important that you create a restore point on your system before doing this so that in case there's an issue then you can quickly revert back so i'm deleting let me reconfirm again so i'm deleting this yes so you can create a restore point as well so let me go this is for the local machine let me go to the user as well and delete what we created um this is yes this is it here so I'm going to delete this as well. So, you should be able to access our control panel now. It's now opening. Then, our settings too. So, we are good to go. So, um, that is that. So I think um, we can now move to the group policy editor now. So for the group policy editor, so let us um, go to run. Policy editor, so let us launch it. So let's, let us expand this. So we are going into user configuration then 
administrative templates then you see control panel here so what we just um, have to do is um, on the setting by your right here you see prohibit access to control panel so let us double click on it so all what we just have to do is to enable this so we are prohibiting access to it and that's all so just click okay so let's see whether we can access our control panel now let's see if we are still able to access it then you might need to restart the system and you are good to go so it's still opening now so you might need to restart the system for this configuration to work so immediately it, 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 the system comes up you won't be able to access the control panel again so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching